Welcome to Parna Garden. In this episode, we will see how to start bean plants from seeds. I am mixing a few items shown here to prepare the seed starting medium. They are Jiffy's natural and organic seed starting mix, organic green sand, azomite and rock dust, perlite, vermiculite and earthworm castings. I am going to prepare soil blocks and sow bean seeds in them because I understand that the soil blocks don't restrict the roots of the seedlings. In order to prepare soil blocks, I will use this soil block maker that can make four soil blocks at a time. As you can see here, it has placeholders for filling the soil. Overall, it looks like this. And at the center of each placeholder is a part that protrudes slightly and this creates an indentation in the soil block and that is where I will sow the seeds. The soil block maker has an easy handle as shown here. By pressing the handle, you will apply pressure to the seed starting medium inside and this creates the soil blocks. I am using a container to mix all the items we saw earlier to prepare the seed starting medium. Here I am opening the bag of Jiffy's seed starting mix and adding a generous amount to the container as this is going to make up the bulk of the seed starting medium. Next, I am adding all the other items. This is a mixture of azomite and rock dust to help provide trace minerals. Next, I am adding perlite to this mixture and then I am adding vermiculite. Perlite and vermiculite increase drainage and aeration in the soil, which in turn helps in better root growth. The next item that I am adding here is green sand. This contains deposits of minerals that were once part of the ocean floor. It is a rich source of gluconite, which is high in iron, potassium and magnesium. Last but not least, I am adding earthworm castings to help provide water soluble nutrients and humus. Now that I have added all the items to the container, I am mixing them using a trowel. Then I added some water and mix them some more. Here I am adjusting the consistency by adding a little bit more water. When you take a handful of the seed starting medium and squeeze, if water drips slowly between your fingers, and the mixture holds together without falling apart when you open your fist, you will know that the consistency of the soil is just right for making soil blocks. If you add it too much water, the mixture may get runny and may not hold together. What I'm going to do next is to immerse the soil block maker into the growing medium that I just prepared and move it back and forth. This action helps to fill up the placeholder in the soil block maker. You can remove any excess soil from the bottom using the trowel or if necessary pack some more soil into the bottom. Next, place the soil block maker on a flat surface and press the handle to firm up the soil inside and make that indentation in the soil block. Here is a close-up of the soil block that I just made. You can see that there is an indentation at the center to sow seed. Once the soil blocks are made, I am placing them one by one in this plastic seed starter tray. After using up all the soil in the container, I was able to make the soil blocks you see here. I will sow three types of beans. This is a Cherokee wax yellow bush bean. The seeds of Cherokee wax yellow bush bean look like this. Bush beans are good for container planting. The next variety is Royal Burgundy purple bush beans. The seeds of Royal Burgundy purple bush beans look like this. The third variety is Kentucky Wonder pole beans and their seeds look like this. 
I am sowing bean seeds by placing them at the center of each soil block marked by the indentation. I have selected 10 seeds of each bean variety to go into this tray. Also, I have some extra soil blocks here and I am sowing some old cucumber seeds in them. After completing the sowing, I am covering the seeds with some seed starting mix and lightly tapping over them. Next, I am watering the soil blocks from the side so that the soil blocks stay intact. Finally, I am going to cover the seed starter tray with Jiffy's tray cover and wait for the seeds to germinate. In about 4 to 5 days, the bean seedlings emerged from the soil blocks as you can see here. Some of the bean seeds did not germinate because they rotted away due to overwatering. In about a week, the bean seedlings were ready for planting. As opposed to a six pack seed starter container where the roots wrap around due to limited space, the roots of the seedlings grown in soil blocks are stretching outward and appear to be free. I have planted these seedlings in containers and hope to harvest some beans before winter. Thank you for stopping by and enjoy gardening.